Hi folks, my name is Doug Korn. I'm a fly tire for Parks Fly Shop out in Gardner, Montana. Today I'm going to be tying the EMT loop wing emerger for you. EMT stands for Emerging Mayfly for Trout. Uh, this fly, uh, the first time I saw it tied, I think I saw Greg Matthews tie it. And um, I know that Dave Lewis uh, out in Montana, uh, a custom fly rod maker, uh, from Virginia also uh, tied this fly and I'm not sure who originated it but it's a uh, it's a great little pattern and I'm going to show you how I tie it for the shop and uh, let's get going with that fly um, today we've got a MFC 7076 uh, size 12 hook and device we're going to be using uh, Danville 6 aught olive thread so I'll start that behind the eye and go down the shank to about the 40 percent point there I'm going to snip the, snip the waist and tie in the shuck. So for the shuck material, I use uh, this need loft yarn. It's kind of like uh, you can use Zilon or MFC's Widow Web. They're all they're all about the same. They all work pretty good. <clears throat> and I'll trim that to about the length of the material that I tied in for the body. So it's about as long as the body is. Okay. And then behind that, we're going to use a piece of crystal flash with a ribbing. So this is a root beer colored crystal flash, medium size. Tie that in right, right where we left off. Come up to the end of the body and back about halfway where we're going to tie in our dubbing. Now for dubbing, um, I make this blend called EMT DK number seven for the shop and uh, they sell it through the shop and um, we also tie this fly in uh, brown I tie it in gray um, I tie it uh, PMD's Blue Wing Olives uh, Hendrickson's here in the east and March Brown's here in the east uh, it's tied exactly the same way we just changed the color of the dubbing the loop wing in some cases in the ribbing and, and of course the size of the hook so um, you can use it to imitate any any mayfly that uh, hatch that you have locally. So we're going to dub the thread. I'm going to dub about a three inch noodle on here, and we want that to be fairly tight. Once you get your dubbing on there, you're going to work your way back towards the back of the hook. Building that slender body right to where you ended. You ended your body with your uh, shark material. If you have a little extra material there, just clip it, and here's a little tip. If you have stuff left over, just pull it all up and trim it with your scissors. People try to pull it off and it makes a mess. Just, just pull it up and trim it off. And then you're going to wind a fairly tight rib, space, uh, rib spacings here for that abdomen of the fly. And here you want to you wanna go behind the rib then once on the bare shank, behind the rib, once on the bare shank, and that'll that'll lock that, that'll lock that rib right in. Next, we're going to tie in the loop. Now, for the loop, I I just use your two millimeter gray craft bone. You want to cut. This is the thickness here. You want it to cut a little wider than it is thick, about three sixteenths of an inch or so. A little bit more than half the hook gap. Okay, you're gonna tie that in on top with three three soft turns, forming a little pad there that you're just gonna shove back. And you're gonna fold this loop. You want the loop to be, you want the loop that you form to be about the height of the hook gap, maybe a touch higher. And then I'm going to fake one soft turn right behind my fingers and another soft turn up up just about a millimeter or two. 
to form a little ball in there and then you're going to wind tight wraps over that ball. And the reason you do that is if you, if you just try to put all your wraps in one spot there's a good likelihood that you could cut right through the uh, foam. Next we're going to put in our hackle. So here I've got some uh, olive brown grizzly that we're going to use for the hackle. You want to tie this with the shiny side uh, facing yourself. You tie it in. I like to tie it right in front of the loop. Fold that stem right underneath it. And then it'll stand up there out of your way. And this isn't the best hackle here. This is a bronze hackle, grade hackle. Uh, number three, if you will, grade hackle. And that's good enough for this fly because you're not trying to float the fly with this hackle. You're just trying to imitate the legs with this uh, with the hackle here. It'll help float it, but it's not... You don't need to have the best grade uh, hackle. So here I've dubbed another noodle, uh, about an inch and a half, about half the half the length noodle that you needed for the body. And I'm just going to cover the thorax with this. I'm going to do figure eight wraps around that that loop, just to make a nice bulky thorax, and to cover up the bottom of that foam. Grab my hackle pliers here. Grab that hackle. You're going to get try to get three turns of hackle, starting right behind, right in front of the foam there. Work our way forward. And again, you don't need a lot of hackle here. You want to make sure you got room for a head. Two wraps. You can let go of that that hackle and then pull all those fibers back and form your head. Then you can let go of everything. Don't worry about that stub for right now. You're going to whip finish, finish your fly first. And lately I've been getting away from uh, head cement and just doing a double whip finish. Kind of like that a little better for dry flies at least. And then you can just uh, pop off that the rest of the hackle. Straighten out any fibers, trim any fibers that are in your way. And then you're going to turn the fly over. There's the thorax that we, we covered with figure eight wraps there. Get a good look at it there. And then we're going to trim a V notch out of the bottom of that, that fly. And that way the fly will sit in the water about this angle and um, with the abdomen and the shuck hanging down through the film with the water level about here and it, it looks like a crippled fly or a fly stuck in the shuck and uh, very attractive to the trout so that's the fly the EMT loop winger merger give it a try thanks for watching